Losing internet access was a bigger problem than personality clashes for six astronauts confined for eight months on a remote simulated Mars base, a British member of the team has said. Not a single personal insult was uttered by any member of the crew during the whole of the mission, which ended on 17 September, claimed the astrobiologist Sam Paylor, 28, a PhD student at the University of Edinburgh. Being without the Internet created more difficulty than social conflict, since it meant problems took days instead of minutes to solve. The Hisia's Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation Mission was the fifth in a series of similar experiments funded by NASA. The missions have studied the food that explorers would eat away from Earth, the social interaction of crew members in a claustrophobic environment, and the psychological and biological impact. Speaking from Hawaii, where the four men and two women had lived in a 1,200-sq feet dome situated on a barren active volcano, Paler told the Press Association I was very lucky to have a great crew. No isolated group can be immune to any arguments, but everyone did an amazing job of working through any issues we had. Crew members left, sit for a news conference, after emerging from their habitat on Sunday. Photograph Hisia's Mission V crew up we spent a lot of time talking about how to avoid conflict. Incredibly, not once did anyone use a personal insult. The group was very carefully selected to try to get a group that would work well together and get along, and we seem to have achieved that. Browsing the internet was impossible because of a 20-minute communication delay intended to mimic the time it takes for radio signals to travel between Earth and Mars. This departure from modern life on Earth proved to be one of the crew's greatest challenges, said Paler. The lack of internet and long delay meant problem solving was often very difficult, with issues that might normally take five minutes to solve taking two to three days, he said. We also couldn't use social media or speak live to anyone back on Earth, and so communicated only through pre-recorded messages and emails. The crew were the only people we saw and spoke to for eight months. Spacesuits had to be worn on excursions outside the dome. Photograph University of Hawaii if reports from the University of Hawaii on the project have been positive, at least those carried on the university's news service. However, previous research has shown that problems among crew are as likely to arise on the journey to Mars as during the time the explorers spend there. In one previous simulation of the 17-month round trip, via a windowless pretend spaceship at a Moscow industrial estate, the activity levels of the Almel multinational crew plummeted as time wore on. Scientists judged that only two of the six men adapted to the mission, with the others developing sleep disorders. Various other studies of the impact of Mars missions are planned around the world. China has unveiled plans to build a 400 meters yuan 47 million pound replica of Mars on a spectacular, sandswept corner of the Tibetan Plateau, the latest lag of its multi billion dollar race for space. The simulated Mars station, a 95,000 sq kilometers tribute to the solar system's seconsmalist planet, will be built in Qinghai Province's Haixi Mongolian and Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture, not far from the westernmost tip of the Great Wall. The Hawaiian Dome where NASA prepares humanity for life on Mars Hawaii's Hisia's missions take place on an 8,200 feet high rocky plain below the summit of Mauna Loa, where the crew members lived and worked as if they were on Mars, carrying out maintenance, conducting scientific studies and exercising. They relied on shelf-stable food and were denied all fresh fruit, meat or vegetables. Spacesuits had to be worn on excursions outside the Dome, which were carried out in teams. Our days were packed with the types of task work which helped us not go stir crazy, Paler said. Keeping focused and busy is key to keeping physiological health up. We also worked out a lot six times a week for me to keep spirits high and helped us deal with the physical Eva work going out on the volcano and spacesuits. The habitat never felt small to me, partly because I got on so well with my crewmates. We always found fun things to do such as watch movies together or play board games. Had we not got along so well, I'm sure it would have felt a lot more claustrophobic. Paler said he especially missed fresh fruit, juice, ice cream, steak, fresh seafood and beer. The morning we landed we were brought fresh fruit, donuts and a few items a few people had requested from McDonald's sausage and egg McMuffins, he said. Later, the mission support folks barbecued us some steak and prawns which was amazing. We also went to a bar for some local Hawaiian beer and cocktails, 